Hi, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. This is a very anamorphic, very technical episode where I want to talk about a technique I've been using for square in-camera anamorphic footage. This technique, I'm kind of reversing the main concept of anamorphic. Anamorphic first started when the film industry began using widescreen and they use lenses to squeeze more image into their typical film plane. They're taking essentially a four by three and squeezing it to a widescreen image. And I am taking a nine by 16 vertical image and squeezing it to a one by one image. Essentially, where they wanted widescreen I want square. I'm using the same tool with the same lens characteristics, but with a new aspect ratio. There have been a few people, including myself, that have done this before, where you have a vertically rotated camera, where the lens mount would have the lens also be rotated. Instead, you keep that horizontally aligned so you get the typical horizontal flares. This makes your tall image squeeze wide, just like old school cinema. In this technique, I'm using a much taller sensor. One of the difficulties in doing this technique is rigging. In this example, I've rigged my camera in what I call a Michael Bay style build. Instead of doing long rosette arms down to handles, I have handles rigged directly onto my camera on either side. When doing this technique, you then want to preview your image, and it could be a vertical on the screen, but a nice feature about this Z-Cam is it includes de-squeeze options for not only for typical horizontal usage, vertical de-squeeze for all the same lenses. I really like the Vase and Anamorphics for doing this technique. They offer lens supports in both angles, vertical and horizontal, and those are threaded, so I can lock the lens into place. Some PL lenses offer multiple notches at different angles. This will allow you to do this technique very easily. In my case, this is not a PL lens, and I've rotated the lens using the help of a 3D printed lens mount. 3D printed tools offer lots of flexibility and easy solutions, fast, but also their own series of issues and problems as well. I recommend this technique, but also want to warn you of all the lens supports you'll need to really lock it in place. I've talked to Vase and Lenses about their upcoming PL set. They've mentioned that it will offer the notches to allow this technique. Here I've prepared some Zcam S6 footage using this technique in the Vazen 28mm anamorphic lens. It's a 1.8x anamorphic lens. So 1.8x on 16x9 when the 16x9 is rotated vertically is 9x16. Your 9 turns into a 16.2 when multiplied by 1.8. You can see lots of lens character that would normally get cropped off when trying to go for this aspect ratio and using an anamorphic lens. Here you can see lots of bokeh and swirliness in this lens that is offered and that I'm capturing, but if I captured in typical widescreen, it would likely be getting cropped off to achieve the square aspect ratio. This has been a fun one today. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.